Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're doing a mod review for American Truck Simulator and we're having a look at the Concept Truck 2020, the Flight of Fantasy I'm pretty sure it's called. Uh, so let's jump in and check out what you get. Now this is version 2, so uh, it is the latest version of this truck and a lot has changed since last we had a look. So first of all we've got the sleeper, we've got the and now here is something different. Now, we, it was only one sleeper before. Now there's two. There is a raised roof sleeper and it's got... It's got electric motor in there. So it's... it's a, Oh, sorry, a hybrid. Sorry, it's hybrid. So the whole truck is hybrid. And Creech Bum's made some new sounds for it and stuff like that. So we're going to check this one out today. Uh, but if you'd like, you can actually go through and check out other stuff. I mean, there's a heap of engines that you can check out, uh, that's transmission, sorry, heap of engines that you can check out that are in here, but today we're going to have a look at uh, the uh, the hybrid, the, which is the major change in this one, so if you want, check out the other video that we did, and that'll cover the other engines that we had a look at, so uh, now, off to the hybrid, now chassis, there's only the 6x6 with this one, Engine, one engine, it is the 6x800 volt AC motor. Um, it's just like a little a little slot car motor, isn't it, really? Just a bigger, bigger version of it. Uh, transmission, there's only one transmission for that. The interior, there's two different interiors. There's a white interior, so very sort of clean cut, uh, almost clean cut, uh, very sort of reminds me of futuristic, so I'm going to put that one on today. And then we go off to the outside, now there's a ton of paint jobs. Regardless on which truck you choose, there's a ton of paint jobs, sort of which which one that you, you know, so sort of which chassis, so that if, if it's the H2 truck, the hybrid, or if you choose just a standard diesel, there's a ton of paint jobs to go through. So there's uh, custom colour, which allows you to choose any custom colour. Then there's Black Knight, Cocoa Brown, Dark Scarlet, Deep Aquamarine, Deep Basalt, Perfect White, Royal Grey. Then there is, it says Test. Now this one was in there as well last time we had a look at this. And uh, it's you can change all these different colours in there if you want. Whatever you like, you know, go nuts. But we're not going to worry about that one today. Then there's Yellow, Custom Metallic Colour and these do actually work so there's the first one there's the second one there is the third one and as you can see that looks great now um what color should a hybrid car be i don't know um i think i think blue would probably be the best hybrid color uh let's go there we go. I know a lot of you are saying green, but uh, I'm thinking blue. A bluey sort of, there we go, bluey purple. That looks nice. Look at that. Although you can't see the actual hybrid thing on the side there, can you? Uh, let's just do grey. Stuff it. <laughs> After all that, we just do grey. Alright, so now having a look at the accessories. There's the bumper. There's a bull bar on the front. Now you you can actually put in oversized signs, some beacons, uh, some you know spotlights there, which I'm going to chuck on. Um, oh, no, actually I'm going to leave that off, but you can chuck them you know them on if you want. So that's really cool. I like that. Unlike other ones that you see, other mods where they have a bull bar and it's got the slots on there, the anchor slots, and you can't do anything with it. That's a shame. Uh, neon. You can have some neon, blue neon, or red uh, red neon. Now I think that that only shows up at night time. You can really see that, so that's something that may have to look at at night time. So one time. Uh, then we got some lights on the side. Goes all the way down the sides of the truck there. That there is for inside. We'll have a look at that in a moment. Uh, that is also for inside. Uh, driver's number plate. A uh, co-driver's number plate. Main mirrors now. 
this is something that I'm going to leave till we get on the inside because that's where the difference is made. So we'll have a look again on the inside. Driver's plate, dashboard, uh, accessories. Again, we'll have a look on the inside. Then there is windshield accessories. Now, uh, when you're actually installing this, make sure you grab the three. There is three uh, sections. You only need to have the one installed. But uh, to get it working to its full potential, I suggest you install three. So it comes with all accessories and everything. Um, now, um, there's the mirrors. I'm going to choose just the exclusive sun shield there. I like exclusive stuff. And then there's lights. You can go and put on whatever sort of lights. Now, it does look a little bit silly, though, when you put horn in there. But uh, you can go and put on, you know, spotlights if you want spotlights on the top there. Um, I uh, do think that the round spotlights look better than the square ones. Although, it's up to you what you choose. Then we'll put on some air horns there at the top. And then we go over to the beacons, put on some beacons. And there's a turbo wing. If you really, really want to look, you know, super fast futuristic, there's turbo wing on there. Uh, no exhaust, guys, because this has no emissions. So no, no worries about that. Now, for wheels. Now, something that, we, that I think, uh, for the tires, standard tires, for the wheels, now you got to be careful here because you got all the standard ones, and you have to look for. Let's grab the standard chrome, the nuts on here. Go standard, or you can go chrome, whichever one you want. The center hub is standard. Now here we go. Hub cover is where it's at. Um. Where is it now? Bloody thing's hiding on me, isn't it? There's an aero one that you can actually use for this. Now, I've probably got the wrong rim. Maybe that's what it is. That's standard chrome. Let's try seagull. Seagull chrome. And is that where it is? Uh, exclusive. Shit. <laughs> okay, so it's not showing up for me. It's in one of these here. It has got an aero type wheel that you can use an aero cover. And it's not actually showing for me. So, standard chrome I'm just going to put on there. And the rim I'm going to put on is seagull chrome. Standard chrome we'll put on there. Right. That was the lights under there. That's all the inside stuff. Now uh, on the um, on the, the rear here, we'll be able to see the cover. So if we go to cover here, and then we've got aero. So you've got aero chrome, uh, aero two, and there's aero one. But the rest are all standard, and you can even paint it if you want to. I'm going to do aero chrome. And on the back there, go Aero Chrome. There it is. And we may as well just paint the nuts chrome while we're here as well. That center hub. Um, you, I'm just going to leave that the way it is. That looks pretty cool, I think. But yeah, I'm not sure why that... It's something I've done wrong. I'm sure there's something I've done wrong here because... It was showing up with, um, it was showing up before. Damn it. I hate that when you're showing something and it doesn't show up. It's annoying. Aero, aero it was. It said aero on there. Never mind. Never mind, guys. Uh, I'm sure somebody in the comments will tell me uh, whereabouts it is. I've gone and missed it. So everyone can sort of follow on to that one. Right, so let's jump on to... Uh, sorry, we go up to the back there. There was nothing on the back there. Spinning it round. Uh, nothing there. We're going to have a look at the mirrors here on the inside. So everything else is on the inside. You can see on the back there, there's a big tank. for That's your... Not fuel tank. That's your battery power or whatever it runs on. Hydrogen in the back there. H2 water or whatever. 
Uh, so let's go and have a look here. So starting over there, there's nothing there, but we go there, and there's the mirrors. Now, this is what I wanted to show you on the inside. There's your reversing camera, and there is your uh, mirrors with camera. So there's your other camera on the other side there. So that's cool. Or you can just have the reversing camera, whichever you want. And then we go over to there. There's your driver's plate. That there is your dashboard dots. So if you have the third part of this installed, the accessories, you can go and put on your accessories there, like the hula girl. There's the little doggy. And uh, let's go an SCS cup. There we go. Now, uh, over the top there, there is points, so anchor points for, you can add whatever you want sort of stuff in there. So let's go and put SCS there. And then we go in there, you can put dice and all sorts of things in there as well with your accessories. So this is why I said make sure you download all of the accessories and stuff like that. That way it gets, you know, put in there. There's the mirrors over there. Um, right there is your bag, you can put bag, pink bag or lean's bag, and then there's a computer. Um, there is exactly the same, we'll put the esky up the back there. But look, there's plenty of room in the back here. That looks really cool. I like it a lot. Uh, the steering wheel. You can actually change the standard there, or standard two. So, whichever one you choose there, or... You can go and put in whichever sort of steering wheel you want in there. So that is really cool. Now, uh, that is it. Let's confirm that. I There we go. And let's go trade in on the last mod. And let's do a run around the track with this. Oh, crap. It's raining. Damn. It rains so much here in Tuac really does zero emissions hydrogen see we're running hydrogen is what it is electric so 10,000 AC zero emissions I like that that's really cool you don't see too many trucks that have have that some futuristic truck but this trucks perfect for that so here we go. Let's start her up and listen to this engine. Welcome to the future. That is cool. Oh, it's on. Hang on. Let me turn that up. It's very quiet. There you go. You can't hear it. Wow, okay, so, reverse, uh, let's jump on the outside and have a look. And uh, so we'll do flashes. Flashes are working. Doesn't that sound so futuristic, that? Wow. Uh, lights. There we go, there's lights, high beams. There's high beams. Horn. <coughs> Oh, that's a bit loud, sorry. It's actually really loud on the outside, but really quiet on the inside, so... I just turned that down a little bit. Now it's too soft. There's the air horns. That's really... Those air horns, I have to say, really do suit this truck. Um... F4, and we want uh, front accessory light there. Beacon light, we'll put that on. And then we'll move on to the next one. Uh, now, does the steering wheel shift? Yes, it does. Awesome. That's great. Your steering wheel does move about. That's really good. Awesome. Uh, now, I'm going to shuffle that out a bit and back that seat up. But that's just personal preference, guys. That's all that is. Now, uh, F4, there we go. While we're in here, let's do display. Normally I hate this, but uh, for these guys, I don't. I know it's going to work. There we go. There's the display there. Now I've gone too far back, haven't I?
Right, there we go. So there's your display there. That's really cool. I like that. I like that a lot. And the uh, indicators work here. Yeah, indicators work on the dash. Yep. Awesome. Oh, look at that. Look at that. There we go. The flashes. See, you can see the, the mirrors on there when you turn that on. What about when you hit reverse? No, I was thinking that the reverse camera might go on, but no. Is there multiple gears? Oh, shit. <laughs> we hit hit something. Oh, so there's, there we go. There's two gears with this. Wow. Uh, wipers. We need to test the wipers. Whoop. There's that wiper. Yeah, it just slides right across. That is, that is weird, that is. <laughs> on the outside, just check on the outside to make sure that that's working. Yeah, look at that, that's working on the outside too, that is great. Wow. Does it stall? No, I just popped the clutch out and it didn't stall. That's weird. Alright, so I'm going to turn the volume up for the inside here. Listen to that. It sounds so weird, doesn't it? Oh, there's a banana break. It's got a banana break in there. Wow, this is full on weird. It really is. It's, it seems so strange. Turn that wiper off. You don't need it now. Right. Okay, now let's take this round the track. Now, you know the drill. The timer will be down the bottom. I can't see it because I'll be editing it in uh, after I finish recording this. So uh, let's go. Uh, start. Oh, I can't start in too low because it's that's it. It's only one gear. All right. Three, two, one, go. Just put your foot flat down and away it goes. Up to Bonza. Holy moly, this thing's flying. Oh, jeez. Wow, this is awesome. Oh, here we go. Bulldust. This thing's going to have one hell of a, a fast time. i got to keep it on the track. All right, up to the Titty Twister. Whoa. <laughs> All right, through to the sand pit. You going to sand trap? Oh, geez, up to now. This is going to be interesting. Dunny climb. I actually had to take my foot right off the accelerator. Now down to the cereal bowl. We're going to see how fast this thing can go. Look at this: 80, 90, 100 miles per hour around oh oh there's five percent oh eight percent damage oh geez i've never had a truck go around there that fast all right down to two up and made it through nicely Oy, ah. and here we go the cattle grid around these tight little S bends here as we're coming up to the sheep dip oh man this is it's not hard to drive at all here we go sheep dip going through no sheep in there they would be freaking out right now they'd be going bad it's witchcraft <laughs> alright around the corner oh gee that's hard Oh, sorry, microphone. Stig's nightmare we're traveling through at the moment. And this is a real nightmare with this truck. It is definitely a handful getting around these corners. But that's what makes it so fun to drive. That mirror is glitching a little bit, I've noticed. So, And here we go. Stop. There we go. That has to be a quick time. It really, really does. 
This sounds like an alien craft, doesn't it? Sounds like a UFO. And uh, I got the beacons. No drop axles. Wow. That is... That is awesome, that is, guys. That is so cool. This is definitely a very, very, very interesting truck. Um, and it's... Oh, man. It, I, think, I think everyone should download this. It really is a must to try. Even just for some fun. And if, if you don't like it after you've had some fun with it, then, yeah, you can take it out. But I think it's definitely uh, worth a try, guys. It, it's just spun me right out. And the sounds that it has, too, is awesome. Sounds just like a UFO. <laughs> well, guys, uh, the time was down below. In uh, It popped up. Uh, I, again, I can't see what the time is because uh, it would have been quick. It really would have. That would actually probably be the fastest time around the track, I'd have to say. Close to. But uh, you'll be able to see that. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, definitely going to be an interesting time. But uh, that's it for me today, guys. Look, if this is the first time you've seen Junior Senior Gaming, then make sure you head on over to the YouTube channel, our YouTube channel and check it out. We've got over 1,600 videos for you to watch, so make sure you check it out. And that's it for me, so keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down, and I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on! Thanks for watching, YouTubers. If you'd like to watch some more trucking good videos, then click on the links beside. If you'd like to visit our website, or you'd also like to subscribe, then click on the links below. Thanks again for watching, YouTubers, and remember, game on!